If you enjoy composing fantasy music in the style of Lord of the Rings, Witcher, Game of Thrones, you know, dragons, troubadours, taverns, if this all sounds good to you, let's get started. So in today's video, I'm going to be checking out a library that I was actually surprised to see coming out. It's from East West and it's the Hollywood fantasy strings. I'm a huge fan of fantasy libraries. I've actually made a dedicated video about fantasy libraries. I'm really invested into this kind of genre. And you know, if this library was out uh, when I created this video, it would definitely be in this video. What's even more exciting to me is that apparently this is not going to be the only instrument for fantasy music from East West. This is just a string. So there are going to be more installments. So this is basically part of the Hollywood Fantasy Orchestra series, which will include brass, winds, percussion, and voices. I'm really excited about this. And also the Hollywood Fantasy Orchestrator. And clearly, East West also thought that I would be interested in this library. So this video is kindly sponsored by East West. I've been using their libraries for a long time professionally, and I've actually done quite a few demo tracks for East West in the past, way before I started YouTube, by the way. So this video is going to be a walkthrough. It's not going to be a review of this library library per se, but I'm going to play as many sounds as I can so that you can listen to it. As you know, I'm going to play everything live and we're going to have some fun. And I'm going to start with a lute. Uh, this is three lutes. I always love playing uh, this piece when I play lutes. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments down below. I really <laughs> want to see how many people know about this piece of music. It's beautiful. Um, I'll help you. It's from an opera. The lute is an instrument, you know, it's a trademark of Renaissance music. It's the instrument of uh, troubadours and uh, tavern music. And, you know, Renaissance music, we had the church music, but we also had the music of the troubadours where they were playing songs, basically. So this is a big sound, if you ask me, you know, it's uh, it's three lutes played together. I want to show you the moods because this is something that East West do on their more recent libraries. So you have the classic, we have the soft. epic and that becomes red um, you know what I especially when you're composing I think interfaces are really important I like that I see something visually appealing here <laughs> So this is brighter, it's definitely, it sounds way more pronounced and bigger than the classic. Let's go and play some articulation. So we have, let's try the double hits. One thing that I like to do with library sometimes is I turn off the reverb and see if the sound is dry. So you can get a dry sound. And of course, if I turn down the main mic, you know, you can get a drier sound. So yes, these are designed for film composing in mind. Let's move on to the next instrument. And the next instrument that I want to play for you is the viola da gamba. Again, one of my favorite historical instruments.
I've talked about the viola da gamba in one of my previous videos, but being a musicologist, I had to study all those instruments, all those period instruments. And viola da gamba is a really interesting one because it's the precursor of the cello. So it was called uh, viola da gamba because players would place these instruments and play it between their legs and it was a very important instrument for that period and it also was a very important instrument for basso continuo, uh, for baroque, uh, early baroque. It's a very specific sound. Now here's the thing, I like what East West have done here because this non-vibrato sound is what defines the music of the period. So Baroque music, it doesn't have this romantic vibrato, you know, it's straight. And if you watch all these uh, scores, uh, especially when they do kind of Renaissance fantasy uh, music, they tend to have this kind of sound. Because if you do too much vibrato, it sounds more modern, it sounds romantic. However, we still have vibrato on the mod wheel. But I like the fact that we have this really nice straight sound. An epic. Nice. Let's try the sustain expressive. These were the normal sustains. Fifths. And yeah, this gives you a really nice uh, kind of monolithic sound. Very nice. Staccatos. Let's try the legato. Tremolos? Psycho tremolo. Let's move on to the next instrument. I'm going to play the hard anger fiddles. And I love the legato with these ones. Let's start with the legato. And again, you have this really characteristic uh, straight sound with no vibrato. Play a few more articulations, sustains.
and also the maestro attack. Okay, now let's try the dulcimers again, a very, very useful instrument uh, for fantasy music. Yeah, it's beautiful and I like the repetition that it has as well. And I like that we have the soft mode for these instruments as well because this allows you to put them a little bit to the background. So especially if you're scoring a feature film, you don't want them to interfere with a dialogue. So, you know, like if you have a scene and you want to have uh, accompaniment here. There's the epic. This I would use in uh, pop tracks if I wanted to add a specific flavor. Uh, let's try some articulations, let's try the double, and let's play something different for this one. This also has a measured tremolo. That will follow the tempo of uh, the track. And I'm going to play one more articulation. This is the live one velocity double. So if you hit hard, you're gonna get a double. We also have a Hardy Guard in this library, and this is an instrument that actually has uh, quite a bit of attention when it comes to social media. So there are quite a few uh, Hardy Guardy players uh, on Instagram and TikTok, and you know, I, it makes me really happy to see this because these are instruments that uh, we don't know about. And again, I happen to know about this because I'm a musicologist, I studied this thing. So Hardy Gardy has um, pretty much a drone note that plays and then you can play the rest with keys on the actual instrument and you have to use the crank to keep the sound going.
Uh, and you know, I always say when you compose, when you arrange, um, it's a very important thing to have a little bit of an idea of the instrument you're playing. It's the same when you're arranging guitar parts, drum parts, bass parts, hardy guardy parts. You know, you have to have a little bit of knowledge when it comes to the instrument. How does it play? What is possible to play on this instrument? Because these libraries are great, but if you play it wrong, you know, they're not going to sound good. So, you know, I wouldn't play three notes on the drone, for example, or that, but... You know, this is great. And we also have vibrato when it comes to the sustain complete. which you can trigger with a modulation wheel. Uh, sticking with Hardy Guardies, there's a second one, so I'm going to play this very quickly as well. Let's move on to the eight violins and six violas. Let's try the legatos. I like that you can do phrasing with these ones. Yeah, it's a very big sound. It's very big sounding. Uh, let's try the spiccatos. Now let's play the six celli and four basses. Yeah, this sound massive. Let's try the spiccatos. Legatos. So there you go, my friends. This was East West Hollywood Fantasy Strings. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this library. And also let me know if you would be interested in me making videos about the next installment. I know I'm definitely going to be checking this out. Keep making great music and I'll see you, my friends, on the next one. Bye!